Hi there, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to add auth.js, uh, previously known as next auth, to a next.js application. So stay tuned. In the auth.js documentation, um, I'm just on auth.js.dev is the website. And you can see here, this previously was next auth. Um, and actually I can note that the site is under active development and a lot of the docs, I guess, have been built out. Um, but you can see here now we've got three demos. So the original next auth, um, there's an svelte, svelte kit and solid start um, as options. So I'm not gonna go into these too much and the documentation might change. So I'm just gonna show you what I've done for my own application in adding the auth.js to next.js. So I'm gonna open up uh, Visual Studio Code. And here I've got a simple website, um, which I'm currently hosting um, on Vercel and is actually yeah, live on the internet um, for my wedding, which is coming up in August of this year. Um, but what I can do is, uh, let's just do npm run dev. And I can just show you a little bit of what it looks like with next auth and then how we set this up. Um, Cause there's a few different things that we'll need. <clears throat> so, I guess the first thing whilst that's loading in the background is providers. Um, so next auth has a number of different providers. I think there's over 60 here. And this is the service really that you're going to use to log in to the website with or whatever it is. Um, so for example, Google, Facebook, Auth0, um, you can use Apple, um, a whole bunch of them. I think for this instance, I'm just using Google. Um, you can obviously use whatever you want and you'll generally just have to go to the that platform. So for example, Google, um, and I can show you that and you'll just need to get the Google client ID and a client secret. Um, but all of this should be uh, sort of in the reference guide here as well as, as how to do that. <clears throat> so as you can see here, I'm just going to search Google. We want to set up Google as the provider. And let's open a new page. Um, there we go. That should open it up here. So as you can see here, they, they provide the documentation on Google's end as well um, related to that. And then there's some configuration. So as an example, the console.developers.google is where you'll need to go. This is where the API credentials will be. Um, so for example, if you're you've got a domain or you're using localhost, uh, as you can see here, this is what it should look like. So it should be your domain or localhost slash API slash auth slash callback slash Google um, or whatever the, uh, I guess, authentication provider is here. <clears throat> so here you can see we've got the initial Google provider. And what I've done is I've put this in the pages route. So I'm using pages here um, of API folder slash auth. And then in here we've got brackets and then uh, I guess is the dot 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 um, next auth dot JS. <coughs> Sorry. And <clears throat> all we're doing is importing next auth from next auth, which was installed. Uh, let's just have a look. Oops. As a package. And just going to confirm that with you here. Yeah, so I'm using next auth and this is version 14.19, sorry, 4.19. Um, you might be on a, sort of a later one um, if you're coming to this, obviously, down the line. But as you can see here, it's really quite simple. So we're just importing next auth. We're importing Google provider um, from their list of providers. And then we're just having um, some auth options which are the Google provider here with our client ID and client secret. Um, and I've stored these as environment variables, but you can just put them in here as the strings, I guess. Um, but yeah, slightly nicer way to have that. Um, and then you see here the secret, I've got a JWT secret, so JSON web token, um, which again, I'm not gonna show you, but you can sort of read the docs or generate that yourself. And then we're just exporting default next auth and passing in those options. So we've got the provider and the providers and our secret. So just as an example here, you could have multiple providers um, and then, you know, you would then have your Facebook cred credentials um, if you're offering that as well as the service to um, for users to log in. Um, cool. So once that's 
done and you've sort of set this up, uh, basically following this boilerplate as it looks like, um, it's really quite simple. You will then, yeah, just need to, um, I guess, build some sort of sign in functionality. Um, so I'm just going to find that here. So what would it be? Is it sign in? And this is the example. So from NextAuth, um, I'm using the obviously React package as well. I'm destructuring off the use session and sign in. And from that use session, we get some data, which I'm just calling session. And you can see here, if there's no session, on click, we're going to call that sign in function. Um, otherwise, we're returning an image gallery. So I'm just going to pull this up here and just have to remember the route. Uh, it's a photos. So I'm going to just navigate here to photos. <clears throat> and once this loads, we should be able to see a styled button, which here I'm just using some styled components. Um, really simple. And the on click, it will just fire sign in. And Let's have a look here. There we go. So we can see our sign in button. And oh, so we're actually already signed in then. Um, so I've already authenticated <laughs> with Google. And you can see these are just some dummy images. Um, at some point, what I'm going to do is, well, obviously after the wedding, uh, which I mentioned is this summer, is then fill this with some images from our wedding. Um, but yeah, so let me just so actually revert that for a while. Um, so one of the things that I didn't need is the ability to sign out. I just wanted someone to sign in and also was kind of playing around with, with next auth. Um, so if I just sort of switch around the logic there and refresh, what we should be able to see now, um, yeah, will be the sign in button. And then what you can do is click that and you'll see here now, here is the callback URL. So we're going back to localhost um, <clears throat> and then photos. So, that's the sign in with Google. And this is what next author is essentially doing. And then you can see here, I've got the account. Um, so I'm just going to select this one and it might ask for a password. Um, and it might actually be that I've set it up on, not on dev, but let me just have a look here. We'll see if this authenticates. Um, but we should get then, as you can see, returned back to our photos. And then now, because I reverted the logic, um, we should see the photos. But um, yeah, essentially that's kind of how it works. So we're just taking the session, um, well, yeah, calling it the session from data. Um, and as I said, from next auth react, you can have sign in, sign out, and there's probably a bunch of other functions, but the simplest way, um, and sort of for my use case was that I only wanted them to sign in using next door, which is here. So I think that's pretty much it. I'm just going to double check that one more thing. And yeah, that was right. That we needed to do is wrap everything around a session provider. And this is the session um, from next door react as well. Sorry, the session provider. And we just pass in the session as a prop um, to here. Um, so yeah, really quite simple. And as you can see, it all works quite nicely. And <clears throat> with the um, sort of options there, uh, it looks like, as I said, you'll just need the Google client ID and your Google client secret, which you can get from <clears throat> the console here. Um, so as an example, you just go to the credentials and you'll probably want to create a new key. Um, and here you can just copy those as well to your clipboard. Um, so this is the, the key um, that you'd need for auth, sorry, it's OAuth uh, 2.0. Um, and you can of course delete them or edit them as well as needed. Uh, I'm not going to click into these just because yeah, I don't want to uh, expose all my credentials um, on the internet as you can understand. Um, but as you can see, it was created fairly recently and it's been working quite well for my use case. So yeah, that's kind of a very whistle stop, whistle stop tour um, of next auth or sorry, auth JS now as it's called. Um, but as you can see, the documentation is really simple. Um, and it's now really quick to, let's say, if I wanted to set up another provider, um, it might be that um, some of the users don't have a Google account. So we can just, I guess, yeah, let them use email um, or something else. But I think, yeah, Google was enough for my needs. Um, and as you can see, there's some other 
options for, for different providers. <clears throat> but overall, really quite simple. Um, and actually, I just realized when I showed you the JWT, um, I'm not sure if that was required. Um, I think I was playing around with some bits and pieces. So it might be that in the config or the setup for NextAuth, you actually don't need this secret. Um, but if you do, it's just a, a JSON web token um, that I'm passing in here as the secret. So yeah, again, really quite simple. And I hope that kind of helps with your next JS and next auth setup. So thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video.